Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Stinker77, and we're back on the Q-Tech world. And today we're going to get started really quick here because I've got a lot to do. We're going to try to make HDPE sheets. Let's see if I type this in here. We're trying to make these sheets. These sheets we're going to need an enrichment chamber, so that's something we have to build. Then we have to get these pellets. The pellets take a pressurized reaction chamber. Um, and from that, we got to get liquid ethylene, which takes a condensating machine. And we get ethylene which again takes a pressure reaction chamber. So we need two of these right here. Okay, and then to get hydrogen, we need to have an electrolytic separator. So we've got a bunch of machines that we need to make. I wanna look at the electrolytic separator first because we're gonna start this up. That looks fairly easy to make. So let's make that. And it uh, looks like we need to get some dusts here. Uh, what do we need? We need osmium iron and gold and to get these you have to put it into an enrichment chamber which we know we're gonna have to make okay so maybe we'll do that part first let's check out the pressurized the pressurized also takes enrichment chambers so <clears throat> i think we said we needed two of these we need to make three let's make three enrichment chambers okay we need some steel casings we need some osmium blocks let's make three osmium blocks and let's make three of the steel casings there we go. And let's make um, make three of these. One, two, three. There's our enrichment chambers. Now we're going to try to make these pressurized ones. Uh, I think we need two of these, we said. So if we do that, we don't. Let me put this back. Might as well. So what do we need here? We need to get a dynamic tank and two basic tanks. And since we need two pressurized chambers, we need four total basic tanks. So let's do that. It's nice when you have all your resources here. We're going to start building a dynamic tank. Um, should do that. So now we should be able to make two pressurized reaction chambers. We know we have uh, another enrichment chamber here. We need to have a, I think it was condon thingy. Yes, a condon strator. And okay, so what do we need for this? I need another tank. Okay, that's easy. A uh, basic fluid tank. We know how to make that. We've made a bunch of those. And an energy tablet, which is just redstone, infused alloy, and gold. So we should have the condensator. And then we need to have... So it's a electrolytic separator, I believe. Se separator? <laughs> this thing. And to do that, we said we need to get some of this here, which is the enrichment chamber, which we have. Okay, so let's uh, let's go downstairs and hook this up somewhere really quick and get those dusts. Let's get our enrichment chamber here. And we needed, a, I think it was uh, two osmium, an iron, and a gold, if I'm right. Yes, I've had a little bit of coffee this morning before I started, so I'm a little bit amped up. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is still a little raw. It is the morning. Why not take a sip of coffee? How do you think? Hmm. Coffee. Okay, so we have that. No. Wasn't in the rich chamber that gave us the dust. Crushing. Oh. We have a crusher here. Does this work? Yes. So I don't know why I did this. That's okay. Let's grab this. We're going to build this machine out probably in this space here. So I'm going to get rid of some of this dirt as well. Um, okay. This is going to be an interesting project. Um, I built this in a test world, so I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit ahead of time. Um, but we, we should be able to get through this. You know what? I'm going to move this pipe a little bit too. Okay, do that one, and we got one more here. Not that. Uh, that. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we're also going to need some uh, pressurized pipe. And we have already some of those were made up. We made that by accident during a stream. And we're probably going to need some um, regular pipes for some stuff. We're going to need uh, importers, a couple importers probably. Probably going to need uh, an exporter or two. 
Just thinking of some stuff. We probably need some cabling. We're going to hook it up to our system. We'll probably need more of that. And there's our iron dust. Right. Let's make this electrolytic separator. I think I misspelled that. Or I misspoke that again. But there we go. We have all the machines that we need. Okay, so let's go and start to hook this system up. And I'm going to do it the way I I did it before. We need uh, um, the universal cables too, power cables. Okay. <clears throat> so I ran the line downward when I did this. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to run a line across here for power. Not sure how far I have to go, so I'm just going to run all the way over here and run this cable line across. Okay, so that has power. So the first thing we need to figure out is um, the, if we go back to the HDPE sheets, we're trying to make the sheets, which is the pellets. Pellets right here take liquid ethylene. Liquid ethylene takes ethylene. Ethylene takes water and hydrogen. And to get hydrogen, we have to use, the first thing is the electrolytic separator that takes water. So we need to get water to it and we could run a pipe over from there. It's kind of awkward. Maybe we'll just make another one of these. I would rather run a pipe though. Uh, can we run a water pipe like underneath here. I would like the pipe to be right, come out right there. So if I'm, if you imagine this is the pipe, which carries water, I would like to go right to here. So let's run a line. Can we get around here? We got so much stuff going on. Maybe we have to go around this side. Yeah, maybe let's go out. So then I'll go need to go over here and let's, uh, you know what? I can jump over the pipe for now. No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it. <laughs> Let's go down here. It's going to go in line with this right here. So I need a shovel. It's going to take too long. Okay. No, I don't have a sticks. Really? Oh, I don't have those special sticks. Let's get some, uh, planks. Yeah. Make me some sticks that I can make a shovel. Wow. This is just going to slow me down today. Shovel. Thank you. Okay, so we're going over here. So I imagine this line would be down here. Okay, that's good. So it's going to go down one more level. So it's here. You know, we don't even need this. I only, only use that for decorating. So Okay, so that line has water. That's good. Let's put some of this dirt back so we are set to go. Okay. So it looks like it's getting dark, which we know is coffee time. So I'm gonna take some more coffee. Ooh. Okay, let's get the show on the road. We're gonna do an electrolytic separator. And you know what? I need a space. Actually, no, I don't need space if I I just got to find a better way to put this pipe. This right here can't be here. And I'll explain why in just a second. I'm doing this kind of on the fly here. We're going to make this go around the corner. Okay. We're going to put the electrolytic separator here. And you can see it immediately starts up because it has water access. And it's making hydrogen and making oxygen. And that's the first part of this process. And I'm going to mute this thing right away. Electrolytic separator, mute. Okay, so it's producing the material that we need, which is hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, so now when we look at the HDPE sheet here, 
we're going down the process of getting liquid ethylene, which it looks like you take the water and hydrogen and biofuel in a pressurized reaction chamber. So we're going to put a pressurized reaction chamber down right here. Okay. And now we're going to, have to configure this so that it gets the materials it needs. Well, we know it needs water. So let's put a water line here. And you can see that's filling up the water. That's good. This section is red. Okay. And red is the other, it's a gas. We're trying to bring in hydrogen gas. So let's go to the side configuration. Let's go to gases. And on the right side should be input. So it should be red. Okay. And you can see it's gotten all of that. That's good. Now there was something that was needed here. Um, not that. Biofuel. So we need to get biofuel into the system here. So we're going to take an exporter because we're exporting biofuel. And we're going to take, say, export biofuel. And if there's any biofuel in the system, which we're going to put up there just to make sure, um, it should start to work. So let's put the biofuel up here. There it goes. And it is doing something here. It looks like it is making substrate and it is making um, ethylene. You can see it's going up. That's what we want to see. Excellent. I'm going to take another drink of coffee. Mm. Now, the substrate we're going to use in a little bit, but I want to bring it back into our system. So I'm going to use an importer and I'm going to use this on the front. Okay, and I'm going to say import substrate. And we're going to pipe that up with a cable into our storage system. And it should go away. Now, see, it's blue is this side. See how it's kind of like blue? It's not pulling it out yet. We have to go over here to the, again, to the um, side config. We're going to be items. We want output to be the front, which will be blue. Now, is it getting rid of it yet? It's not. So we want to go to the... the Auto eject here, ejection. We want to be automatically ejecting it and should start to pick that up. Importing. It's not. So something is set up incorrectly here. Transporter. This is uh, for input. Output. No. Let's figure this out. This is always what gets me confused with this stuff. Items. Auto eject is on. We're in items, right? Yes. And we want the front to be output. That should be pulling out and we're importing into our system substrate. It has substrate and let's uh, mute this real quick. <laughs> That's really loud. Okay. Uh, That's a lot better. Why is it not grabbing this? Let's go take a look. Side config. Idle auto eject is on. This is the output. We don't need any output there. This is for items. So you can do items. You can do energy, you can do fluids. We are doing it an item because it is an item. We want to auto eject is on going out the front. I'm not sure what's going on. Why that should be working, I would think. Well, okay, let's just start. Maybe it's trying to do prioritizing this first. Let's move on with this and we'll keep on going. The next thing in the process we had to do if you recall here, it is we're making liquid ethylene. We have to take the ethylene, which we just started making, and put it into a condensating machine. So we have we have that. Now this thing I found, I had to put it the other direction, like backwards. So we're going to go and do that right now. Okay, I'm going to put it, uh, let me try and get out. I'm going to put it this way. Okay. And because of that, it should start to pull in stuff. Notice there's no side configuration here. So on this side, I'm going to say for ethylene, which I believe this is still a gas. We're going to go to gases and I want to export it out that way. And auto eject is on and you can see that. So it's basically it should be pumping. There's the ethylene coming in and the noisy machine is making liquid ethylene. That's the next process. Okay. So, uh, mute that. Okay, so we've gotten rid of that material. You can see it's got here making the hydrogen. It's basically, why did it stop? Oh, because we're not having enough hydrogen to make stuff here. Okay, and that's because we filled up the internal tank of oxygen, which we will use in a second. 
this still bothers me right here. I'm not sure what is going on, why it's not picking this up, um, but we'll figure that out. Okay, so we've got all of this so far. So now we have to go from, we have now liquid ethylene, we have to put it into a pressurized reaction chamber. Again, the next <clears throat> pressurized reaction chamber. So we are going to, there's no side configuration on here. So basically we're going to say on the sides, now this is now a liquid, we're gonna say bring it into here. Should just go, right? Liquids. Input is on that side. Do I have to use a pipe? Maybe I have to use a pipe for this. This is one of those things I probably have to use a pipe. It's one of these weird things. Let's say if I get a pipe, this is a liquid, so it's a pipe, uh, not a, not a cable. A cable tinker. Okay. And I need to configure to like configure that to pull it out and push it into the other device. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that's bringing it in. Good. We have that. Okay. So that's awesome. Now we also have to get into the system. We have to get, um, oxygen okay and the oxygen i don't know if can we come out here it doesn't look like it attaches there but i think it attaches over here and you can see it's blue that's the oxygen so it's filling that up so we're going to run this pipe all the way around this pressurized pipe all the way and into this machine now it does have side configuration and we're bringing in a gas so we're going to say bring in the gas from the front is input and hooked up, there it goes. So now we have liquid ethylene and we have oxygen going in here and it should process if we have something here. And basically it takes substrate. And so if you put one of those there, it will make the HDPE sheet or pellet and then we'll make the sheet out of this. So from here, I really wanted to um, another export. I wanna export these, the substrate. And then if we can get figure out why it's not going in, it should be okay. So let's export. And we're gonna say export substrate. So if we have any, it'll put that into that machine. So why is this not doing what it needs to do? I'm not sure. And this is, should be just functioning all the time. It is, and it's slowly providing hydrogen and it's got oxygen. When does it make, oh, it needs uh, more biofuel. We are run out of biofuel here. That's what it is. Why is this not pulling out? Um, I'll look at that in a second. The next thing and the last thing we need to do is we need to basically output the HDPE pellets into the enrichment chamber. So here we go. We are going to say side configuration of items on the left side is output. Okay. And we're going to have it again, say eject is on. And on here, the red side, this is the input side and you can see it's bringing in the pellets that's all we needed to do to make it work why is it not engaging i thought we put that into an enrichment chamber to make a sheet you put it in an enrichment chamber oh you gotta get three of those to work and right now we've only made one because of this if i put these two here it should make enough of the sheets there's two and there's three and the same machine should then kick on and there it is. Okay. And then from that, we need another import and we're going to import into our system a sheet. Okay. Um, I should have just left that in there, but we'll figure that out. I don't know if we have to configure what it does here. Okay. So here we are saying import. Yeah, I probably do. I should say that we've got one problem here. We've got two problems. Really? We've got to get this working to bring in stuff. So we have, this is blue, it is an item. So we are on an items configuration. Blue is output on the front. And it should um, eject output. So let's automatically, ejection is on. Maybe it's gonna be confused on. 
That's fluids. We've got the fluids. Hmm. Oh, it's dark. Let's go and get some more sleep. Now, we were making some of the biofuel, so let's just do that for a minute because we don't have any of this. We, we were taking seeds, which we get from our farm, and we're going to put them in here, and this will make biofuel for us. So we'll let that run. This has got me concerned because we have to figure this out. Why is it not doing this? We're importing into the system. Let's look. Okay. We're on saying I'm inputting on the top. There's the input of the items. That is the biofuel. Okay. And on the front, we are saying output, which is our blue side. Pull it out here. And this is saying bring it in. So something is not configured correctly. Just give me everything. Transporter config. Not really output is blue. Ah, maybe that's it. Output is the blue color for items maybe. And so why is it not still out exporting? This is confusing. Because really these aren't here. This is just the item configuration. Items out the front. There's the items. We know that that's working. That's more biofuel here. Okay. So the process pretty much works except for this one thing. Bring that in here and it just starts export out. And it did export it to here. We can see it's bringing in the stuff. It's making it for us, but it's not pulling that in. Why not? Okay, so we have again items. Outputting is front is going to blue. Auto eject is off. This is an import into the system and it's connected to it. Ignoring a resonance angle signal item. Extract mode is on. Mode is black. Oh. There it goes. That was the problem. And now this is getting those pieces. There we go. Okay. Wow, you guys are probably screaming at me about the blacklist thing. But you can see it's making pellets. Pellets are making into here. We're making in HDPE sheets. The system is ready to go. And that should be pulled out of there. And it hasn't yet. And this is, again, blacklist. So we don't put anything in there. It should automatically work. Right? Let's see here. Uh, it's not yet, but we got to do a side configuration. Items, output on the top. And they're gone. Okay. So there it goes. So the system now is automatically doing what we need to make HDPE sheets. So if we're here and uh, we see we have HDPE sheets, we have four. And so really quick, the reason why we're doing this whole entire thing was, remember, we're trying to make the next level of solar panels, which is the Signalum solar panel. And it takes the Signalum solar core. And with this, we needed four of these, which we have. We have Signalum, we have Niotic, and now we have HDP sheets. Where's the Niotic? Uh, I thought we had Niotic. Craft one. Start. Start. Oh, are we out? Oh, I think we're out of... Uh, hold on. Just real quick here. It takes... Missing. We need more Amethyst. Oh, guys. Oh, I can't believe it. We're so close to getting the next level solar parts. We need to get this figured out. But today we did get through the whole thing of H making HDPE sheets, which was kind of a critical thing. So, uh, yeah, I think we're done for today. Hey, I hope you like this video. If you do, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.